Hi, my name is Corey Holden, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And this video is about how to use the Lip Groove feature in SolidWorks. So what I'll need to start is at least a single solid body to place this feature on. Now in this case, what you're going to notice is I use multi-body design to create this part. So I have two separate solid bodies, one which is the upper housing, and one which is the lower housing of this remote, which I assume would be like a plastic injection molded part. Now what you can see right now, if I section view this, is for the contact condition between these two separate bodies, it's simply a flat edge. There's no geometry there. And this is where the lip groove command comes in. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I have this nice combining geometry where this is actually going to meet and overlap so that it looks good being a consumer electronic product. So I'm going to click on my lip groove command. And the first thing is this selection asking me which solid body do I actually want to add that groove to. So I'll select my upper housing. Next, which solid body do I want to add my lip geometry to? So I'll select the lower housing. The next selection is for the direction of the lip and groove feature. So I want a direction that's perpendicular to these. So in this case, my top plane represents that. And notice it kind of dissects my model between that upper and lower housing. So immediately what SolidWorks has done is it's opened up this groove selection box to be populated and it's hidden the lower housing for me. So it actually hid that extra multi-body um, in order to make this easier on the user for the selections. So what I can do is the first I need to select the face that this groove is going to be cut into. It's going to be cut into this face right here. And I want to also select the edge that this material is going to be cut away from. So you're also going to want to make sure though that tangent propagation is turned on. That way you don't have to grab the separate entities on this inside edge. You can just click on one edge and it's going to go around the entire inside. And it's going to show a feature of the geometry it's going to cut away. So when I'm all ready, I can click on the lip selections. And inside this lip selections, notice it hid the upper housing for me. So again, it's just hidden that extra solid body to make this selection a lot easier on the user. So I'll click on the equal and opposite face where this lip feature is going to be added. And I'll also click on the equal and opposite edge. So the inside edge again. Making sure tangent propagation is on. You can see the preview. It's going to add the geometry to that inside edge. And notice at the bottom of my feature, there's this parameters section. And the parameters is where you can actually um, modify the geometry of your lip and groove. So in case you wanted this to be a little bit shorter or taller, you wanted to add a draft angle on, anything like that, that's all edited right here in the parameters section. When I'm all done, I'll click the green check mark to create the lip and groove on my multi-body part. And in this case, SolidWorks is going to give me a warning. All this warning is, is it's just telling me, hey, it's unable to maintain that one degree draft angle that I set across the entire model. The reason for that is just due to the complex curvature of my model. If you have a fairly simple model or something without as much curvature, you're not going to have that error message. So notice even with that, SolidWorks is still has no problem creating the model. And if I take a look at this now closer in and section view this, and I'll go normal to my section view, you can see that it's actually added the geometry in for my lip and groove here with of course the appropriate gap spacing that I specified in my measurements. Also in the feature manager design tree now added in a feature for the lip and the groove. So in this video we covered how to use the lip groove feature. Thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawker Systems.